Hey guys, Bia here with a new video this week. This week I kind of wanted to bring you a little bit of first impressions of the Rohar and Klinger, I think that's how you say it, inks. Most of you might know these inks as the inks that Ekala uses. She actually even sells like little sets on her shop. They're very aesthetic and I've always wanted to get them, but the shipping is kind of huge for Portugal. So one day a few friends of mine were just browsing on a Spanish art shop and I found the inks that she uses pretty much for the same price that she sells but just not crazy shipping. So I kind of went to see her sets and inspired myself on the berry sets which is like a pink, a red and a yellow, the blue sets, the shadowy blue sets which is like two, a blue, indigo and a purple and then I also got a brown just so I could kind of just quickly mix skin colors. And so I got this little mix of colors. I've only did two paintings with them. This one that you're seeing right now and another one. You can check it out on my Instagram if you want. And so far I'm really, really impressed with them. I don't have a lot of experience with acrylic ink, of course. My previous experience was just the Sennelier acrylic inks and those I just found too opaque for my taste, like these just behave a bit more like watercolor or at least they're a bit more transparent like watercolor and I think that works a lot better for my, for my style. I really think I kinda am going to try and sell the Sennelier ones that I got because I just don't see myself wanting to use them anymore, like I got them, I was so excited and then I just try them and I just, they were not for me. These ones, I, the first painting that I did with them, I wanted to be very chill. Uh, I just wanted to enjoy them and it was a dream. And this one was my first try like filming something. Again, I try not to put a lot of pressure on this drawing because this has been a really rough couple of months. You probably are tired of hearing me talk about it, but yeah, art has not been that easy to come by with. Lately, I just not enjoy it or just at least don't enjoy what I'm doing so far, but I'm trying. And this drawing actually came out pretty cute. I think she turned out cute. There is no rhyme or reason at all within this drawing. I just wanted to draw a cute thing and I do think I have more fun when I do that, when I just draw pretty things. So uh, I think I just need to try and let it go and just have fun. Hopefully that will just make everything better. I didn't use every single color. I mixed that green that you see on the jacket. These colors are super easy to mix. Actually, they're very, very nice. They are acrylic, so that palette that has now dried, uh, it's there and I just kind of need to scrub it really hard. But since it's porcelain, I just need to put some elbow grease in it and I think it'll be okay. <laughs> I've washed it once and it was good, so no reason for this one to not come out. I still have it <laughs> there because I was using it to take the pictures. So I have not cleaned it yet. Please don't judge me. <laughs> do let me know if you would like me to do a more in-depth review of these inks. Uh, right now I just would consider this a bit of a first impressions or like quick opinion. I definitely want to kind of switch gears on my channel. I think I kind of just stagnated into trying things and doing a very superficial video. I think I could do more and let me know if that's something you would enjoy. If you just would like me to go more in depth with the reviews or the videos because yeah, I think I've just gone too light with it like I just ooh, there's a drawing and done <laughs> I think that's how my channel is right now and it's not something I want to be <laughs> it's definitely not the direction I want my channel to go in the future so do let me know if there's anything that you would like to see me do or something that you always thought that you would like me to do for example just I would love to hear you out and to see what you would like to see because I definitely want to turn this around. <laughs> this couple of months I think is going to be a bit of a transition because I actually decided to close down my Patreon starting February, the day that this video comes out. It will be my last month on Patreon. I think that's how it's going to roll for now for many reasons, but I just think it's time for me to 
take a step back i wasn't totally happy with how patreon was going i think i was trying to fit myself into like the recipe so to speak of other artists so when i created my tiers i kind of just looked at what other artists were doing and that were successful but to be honest, after trying it out for over a year, it's just not working. The one thing I do enjoy doing is the like the exclusive merch, like the print and sticker. That's the part that I really enjoy, but everything else, it's kind of a hassle and I did not see a response from the Patreon. So, for example, I would do a live stream or an exclusive video and I would not see people either interact with it or not even look at it. Not to be ungrateful, of course, for my Patreons. They are super sweet and they have been supporting me for this past year. I did create a few friendships with Patreons, which I'm super grateful. Uh, but it was kind of like talking to a wall sometimes and it was getting very unmotivating. Found that I do need that feedback and at least to know that if people are liking, if I just I put up an extra video and no one saw it. I, it just kind of demotivated me a little bit. So I decided to take a break from Patreon. Most likely I will transition the exclusive merch thing to coffee. Uh, they have like tiers now and I think they don't have the crazy fees that Patreon has. So most likely you will see me soon in coffee. And I think at that time I will just either just do exclusive merch or try and find a new recipe that fits me rather than trying to fit things that already exist because it was just not working. It was not being... I think it was just not being good for me. I think it was just coming out that it was not right. <laughs> yeah, I know this is kind of... Um, random topic to put in in this video but i just felt like giving you guys a heads up because i do enjoy creating content for youtube and that's something that hopefully won't change for a long time i do enjoy it a lot but as everything else that i've been doing it just hasn't feel been feeling right and i definitely want it to be right <laughs> so do let me know if you'd like me to do more technique oriented videos or just more reviews in depth rather than just being a drawing of the week because that's just i think that's what kind of been happening lately uh, mostly because i have been a bit uh, blocked when it comes to creating art so it has been a struggle to come up with fun videos but please do let me know and I just want to thank you if you have been watching so far because it really means a lot and I hope you've been having fun here in this tiny channel. <laughs> yeah, this video is kind of done, it's a sweet and short video and I just want to thank you for listening to me ramble on about and please subscribe, leave a like and do please leave a comment, let me know what do you like me to see in the future, just any suggestions, I'm more than happy to read them. And as always, your comments always make me really happy, so there's also that. <laughs> you can also find me in all the links down below. Thank you so much for watching, as always. You guys are the best, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.